Whoa, oh, Billy. Oh, oh, no, this is the old cold girl. She's just a little cool. Oh, good God. See you go. Whoa! Easy, killer. Whoa! A little bit of goose action. Coming for you tomorrow. Watch out. Oh, sorry, I was filming the fungians behind you. <laughs> As you can tell, old Flair, old Bill's here. We got Preston. All of us are here. We're staying in the cabin tonight. Stay in the cabin. This is where I showed you. This was the outro of the last video you guys seen. And we're back. We're going to stay the night. Like I showed you, we got rooms. We got flare in town. Tomorrow's going to be great. We had a huge cold front come in. As you can tell, we're just outside getting the Argos because the morning's going to be so much colder. It's like 1 in the morning. We're getting everything ready. Haven't even slept yet. It's like 27 degrees out right now. We've had a huge push of birds. We got geese all over the place. A ton of ducks moved in the air. So. This is going to roll into tomorrow's hunt. We're staying here at the cabin tonight. We're waking up early, getting out in the marsh on the Argos. Right. Well, I got the old uh, goggles on here. <laughs> We're uh, getting, oh, look at this. Such a cute hey scene. We're sharing a bunk bed. Sharing oh, my. the bunk bed. Well, you guys know how it goes. It's another 48 hour sale. We came out with the freaking hotness. What we have here. Check them out, our new brown shirts right here. Actually, I would have one on, but you know how Flair is. He forgets everything under the sun, so he left them in Nebraska, but they are gonna be available for 48 hours only. Grab you one before they're gone. You know how these 48 hour sales go. We can only do runs of certain things, so go grab these things before they are gone. The brown shirts, I'll link everything down below. So yeah, that's what we're dealing with. We got ice, boys. Well, it's that time of year. We are froze up. We're gonna drive the Argo out here and try to uh, break all the size because, I mean, it's not, it's not thick. Um, it's very, very thin ice, but we're gonna knock us a big old freaking hole out here. Look at him. Get it, son. Get it. Whew. It is still dark out. Sun's coming up. We're sitting out decoys. This ice is a pain in the butt. We don't have much wind today. I think we're working with about, what have we got? Three, about three dozen deeks. About three dozen decoys. Little wind. Very, very, very little wind. Extremely cold. I think it's probably about 25 degrees this morning. Definitely one of the coldest mornings yet. So today we're not going to be sitting in an actual blind. We're all going to be stuffed back in these reeds back here. We're leaving a huge hole right in front of us to decoy birds. It just seems like you get more bird action, more shooting action when you're out in these reeds rather than in one of the pit blinds. So. Oh, that's a wit. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it clicked. It clicked. Oh, right above us, right above us. Oh. Got one down. I didn't know whether to shoot or not. All right, I got to start pulling the trigger, boys. Oh, dead eye. Oh, two. Look at these two. Right. There we go. Oh, got group on the left coming in. Oh, my God. Got another one out of them. Oh, they were fast, dude. I couldn't even pull the trigger fast enough. Holy smokes. Teal, baby. Look at them dive in here. Dipping and diving. Oh. Oh, one down. I completely missed that deal. Goodness. Oh yeah, we got another one down right there. All oh, right, 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 right. Oh, 
Oh, he's hurt. Go down. No way. Good Lord. God, they're fat. Look at the feathers. Really? Look at these geese, low flower, flower geese. It's open today, boys. Look at these geese. Oh, here it coming right at you, Andrew. Single coming in, boys. Woo! Bang, bang! That boy dead. That boy dead. My foot is soaked. We gotta move some ice. We're freezing up, boys. We are freezing up. They want that north end, don't they? Yeah, look at all that open water. Oh man, so we are freezing up too much here. Just keeps refreezing on us. The birds have kind of shut off for a little bit here. That's usually what happens here. So on the north end, we got a bunch of open water. It's not freezing. We got good wind. The wind's keeping it open. So while we're dead here, no bird flying, we're gonna pick up everything. We're gonna move about 300 yards that way to open water. Hopefully we get it done before they come back. Bobby's out there, throwing out the decoys right now. We moved our spread from down there over to here, just cause there's already some open water and we've been watching the birds work right here. We're gonna get set up in these reeds and those reeds. See what we can do. Come on now, we need some decoying birds. <laughs> yeah, he should have. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we should have uh, pulled up on them. <laughs> Dude, where'd they come from? Yeah, big ducks just right on us. Coming back. Dude, where'd they come from? Oh, look at them get low. They're dropping. There we go. Woo! Got that guy. Hell yeah. Well. That'd be a hen mallard there, I think. Yeah. Well, finally got some birds coming right. back. Gee, many Christmas. Huh? Okay. Huh. Well, the birds stopped working. Wind shut off. Sun's up. No clouds. So uh, we haven't had any birds work here for a little while. It was a short hunt. We're gonna pick up, pick all these dang decoys up. I have a uh, heck of a hole in my wader boots, so my left foot is extremely cold and numb. So that's always great. painful I've never had leaky waders like that first time that's actually still running my first set of waders I've ever bought literally I've been hunting you know got 10 plus years I've had those waders those are my original ones gonna have to go buy new waders of course because uh, I'm damn sure not doing that my foot was so cold I couldn't even concentrate on shooting the entire hunt because my foot was so numb no excuses I know I didn't shoot that well we didn't have that many groups De decoy like good enough to get really good footage and shots it was a quick morning we picked up too early I'm sure you guys have seen that in Flair's video already there's literally 50 mallards sitting where we were so picked up a little early but still got it done in the cold but yet again guys check out the 48 hour sale this shirt here it's gonna be up for 48 hours and then it's gonna be gone just like all the other ones you know how it goes the colorful designs the one-off designs we have to do little runs of so go pick it up while it's available but you guys have been wanting to see the pile you know didn't shoot very many what do we shoot eight five teal 
two mallards, and a gadwall. So, decent day. Didn't completely whack them, but it was still fun. That ice ended up kind of screwing us over a little bit. We had to we had to switch spots in the middle of the hunt. So you know, we tried to make it work. If something's not working, always move. Always try something new. Always move your decoy spread. If something's not working, that means it's not gonna work. So always try something new. But I want to thank you guys for watching. If you guys like these hunting videos, drop me a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not. It's gonna be a great season. It already is. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace. Yeah, guala, 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 guala. I'm living like it's no tomorrow. Don't know my style, won't let you borrow. You're thirsty, have a glass of water. I'm killing these beasts, I'll be more dead. I'll put my